please make sure you're listening to your body. You can skip anything that doesn't feel right for you. I will show some modifications. Um, and then please make sure you've checked with a healthcare provider before starting a new exercise routine. So for our practice today, I would recommend uh, using a yoga block. If you don't have a yoga block at home, you can use um, a large book, a small box, um, anything that really is going to bring the floor a little bit closer up to you when we're in some forward folds and various things like that. Um, I'm also going to sit on mine at the beginning of our practice. Uh, if you are using a substitute, I would not recommend sitting on it, but something that you can sit on is a pillow or a rolled up towel, um, anything like that that you might have nearby uh, that will just kind of help elevate your hips. So again, I'm going to sit on my block. So I'm going to put it on the lowest height and I'm going to bring my sits bones right up to the front of the, the block. And that's going to help my um, tailbone kind of elongate backwards because a lot of times, especially if you have a death job um, or if you're a runner, it's really common too, uh, you get tight through your hip flexors, through your hamstrings. And when you sit down on the floor, you tend to allow your like pelvis to kind of scoop under. So sitting up on something, a block or a towel or a pillow, uh, is just going to help keep your spine nice and long. So um, you can bring your hands just gently to your knees in this cross-legged position. Just inhale, uh, roll your shoulders up by your ears, and then exhale, relax them down your back. So you're sitting tall. Maybe close your eyes here for a moment. Just bringing your awareness into your breath and into your body. Take a deep inhale through your nose and exhale out your nose. And again, inhale and exhale. One more time like this. Deep inhale through your nose and exhale out your nose. Inhale, sitting up really nice and tall. Exhale, allow the right ear to come to the right shoulder, stretching through the left side of your neck. Exhale here, inhale, head up through center, and then exhale, left ear to left shoulder, stretching through the right side of the neck. So shoulders stay down, melting away from your ears. Inhale, back up through center. Gently open your eyes. You're gonna inhale here and then exhale, turn your head over the right shoulder, just kind of looking, notice everything that's in the path of your eyesight and then inhale back up through center. And exhale, turning your head to the left, just seeing everything in its path. Inhale, center. One more time, exhale to the right. Inhale, center. And exhale left. Inhale center. So we're gonna bring our arms out to a T and then flex your wrists so your fingertips point up towards the sky. Inhale here and then exhale right ear to right shoulder. So keep your shoulders relaxed down, keep your spine long and flex through your hands like you were gonna push the wall away from you. Inhale, back up through center, and then exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Depending on how tight you are, you may feel this stretch all the way down into your arms. Exhale here, inhale, back up through center. One more time, exhale over to the right. Inhale, center, and exhale left. Exhale here, inhale center. Relax your hands and then we're gonna cross right arm over left arm. Give yourself a little hug and then drop your chin to your chest. So still sitting tall, shoulders are still relaxed from your ears. We have a tendency of letting them kind of creep up, but relax them down. So you're just giving yourself a little hug. Exhale here, inhale arms back out to a T and then other side. Left arm over top of right, little hug, chin to chest. And 
One more breath here. Exhale here, inhale, arms back out to the side. And then we're going to, uh, let's see, externally rotate your arms. So your palms face up towards the sky and then inhale them up, shoulder distance apart. So these are the arms that we have in Urdhva Hastasana, upward facing hand pose. We also see this a lot in um, like chair pose or Anjaniyasana, high lunge. So palms facing together and you still keep that external rotation of that outer upper arm. So it's your triceps wrapping in. One more breath. And let's release the hands back down to our sides. This time we're going to internally rotate our arms. So like they're giving a thumbs down and then so the movement is coming from your like arm bone in the shoulder socket. So it's not a rounding through your shoulders, but just the arms pointing down. Then we're going to bring our hands behind our back. So you can either just reach your fingers towards each other's. Maybe they touch, maybe they don't. Um, next option would be to give yourself a little fist bump behind your back. And then third option is to come into a reverse namaste. So it's a little prayer pose behind your back. So your arms stay internally rotated, spine stays long. One more breath here. Exhale here, release the hands, bring them back out to the side, and then exhale, just bring them down to your sides. Let's take a little side bend. Inhale, left arm sweeps up, and exhale over to the right. So root, sits bones stay rooted down into the floor, or the block, or the pillow, whatever you're sitting on. Lengthen on your inhale, and soften on your exhale. Exhale here, inhale, the left arm comes up and down by the side. Inhale, right arm up, exhale over to the left. Two more breaths here. Staying long in your spine, keeping your sits bones rooted. Exhale here, inhale back up through seated. And let's come onto all fours. So just gently move your prop out in front of you. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. We'll do a few cat cow poses here. So root down through your thumb and first finger and find that external action of the outer upper arm. So your triceps wrapping in. And then inhale, belly button drops, tailbone lifts, collarbone broaden, shoulder blades come together on your back, coming into cow. And then exhale, chin to chest, belly button to spine, pushing the floor away, rounding up through your thoracic spine. Inhaling again into cow. And exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhaling back through neutral. Exhale here. Inhale, right arm reaches up to the sky. And exhale, thread it underneath of the left arm, bringing the right shoulder, right temple down to the floor. This left hand can stay here under the shoulder um, for support and stability if you need it. Otherwise, you can walk it forward down the mat. One more breath. Exhale, hand walks in under the shoulder, rooting down through the left hand. Inhale, the right arm up to the sky. Exhale, unwind. We'll do the other side. Inhale, left arm up to the sky. Exhale, thread it under the right arm, bringing the shoulder and the temple to the floor. Again, you can keep this right hand under the shoulder or you can walk it forward out on the mat. So even here, you can root down through that right hand and think of the tricep wrapping in, finding that external action of the arm. Hips stay right over top of the knees. One more breath. Exhale, walk the hand back under the shoulder, rooting down through the hand. Inhale, left arm to the sky. Exhale, bring it down. Let's bring our hips to our heels. Walk your arms forward. Bring your forehead to the floor, or if it doesn't quite reach, that pillow um, is a good thing to put there, or maybe your block. So root down through your hands, especially into your thumb and first finger, and then uh, think of your forearms lifting up and away from the floor, and then your triceps wrapping in towards your face. Two 
two more breaths. So there's action here, not just hanging out. All right, keeping your arms having the same muscular action. You're gonna tuck your toes under and lift your hips up and back for downward facing dog. Little bend in your knees still so your tailbone lifts up behind you. You just relax your heels back. Two more breaths. One more. Bottom of the exhale, look towards your hands, walk your feet forward, forward fold at the front of your mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, spine long, reach forward out the front of your head, back through your tailbone, collarbone broadens. This is the lengthening of your spine, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms sticking up and up or forward and up, depending on what you have room for. Urdhva Hastasana, we've been here arm wise before, and then exhale, hands to your side. Again, inhale, arms sweeping out and up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, hinging from the hips, spine stays long, little bend in the knees. Inhale, spine long, Ardha Uttanasana. Stepping back into plank pose. So bending your knees as much as you need to, hands come down under the shoulders, stepping the feet back. Knees can be down to the floor, particularly on this first one. It's a long line from the crown of your head, back through your heels. Reach back through your heels, press your thighs up towards the sky and lengthen your tailbone back behind you. So either on your knees or still on your toes, you're gonna hinge forward, shoulders come over fingertips, and then exhale, everything lowers down all at once. Elbows stay right in by your waist. Uncurl your toes, inhale, head, chest, shoulders lift, little baby cobra, shoulder blades come together on your back, Triceps are wrapping in, tops of your feet stay on the floor. Exhale, lower down. Leaving your knees down, your hands down, pressing yourself back up through all fours. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. One more breath. Bottom of your exhale, look towards your hands, walk your feet forward, forward fold at the front of your mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms sweeping out and up, Urdhva Hastasana, standing all the way up. Exhale, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. One more time. Inhale, arms sweeping out and up. Exhale, hinging from the hips, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, spine long. Exhale, step it back through plank, right into that chaturanga, lowering in one line, pressing yourself back up, either into cobra, maybe this time upward facing dog on the tops of your feet, shoulders over wrist, tailbone lengthening back. Lifting from the inner thighs, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Two more breaths. bottom of your exhale, look towards your hands, walk your feet forward, forward fold at the front of your mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, standing all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Tadasana Mountain Pose. All right, so I'm turning to face you. You can face however on your mat you want. Um, so we're gonna root down through that left foot, lift up on the left quadriceps, those large thigh muscles, hug the outer left hip in, hands to your hips. Inhale the right leg up to hip height. We're gonna externally rotate it, cross the ankle over the knee, and then hips sink back into this sort of modified chair, standing figure four. So spine is long, reach back through your tailbone, collarbone stays broad, One more breath. Exhale here, rooting down through that left foot, coming back up to stand. Knee comes up to hip height, neutrally rotate it, and sit it back down to the floor. Other side, root down through all four corners of that right foot. 
think of lifting the kneecap and that's going to engage those quadriceps outer hip hugs in. I feel that a little more if I root down through my pinky toes. So maybe you feel that too. Inhale, left knee up to hip height. Externally rotate it here and then cross the ankle over the knee. Hips go straight back. So the knee stays behind the toe. It's not the knee coming forward, but the hips going back. Spine is long. Whoop. Looked out my window, got a little wobbly. Outer hips stay hugging in. So we're not letting that left hip fall below the right, but they're nice and even. One more breath. Exhale here, inhale, coming back up to stand, neutrally rotating the leg, sitting it back down to the floor, and we'll come back up to the top of the mat. So let's bring that block in front of you to um, wh whatever height just needs to be uh, in the center there. We'll adjust it once we're down. So inhale, arms sweep out and up, Urdhva Hastasana, and exhale, forward fold. Hinging from the hips, so it's not running in their spine, but hinging from the hips, a little bit in the knees, releasing the hands down. Feet are about hips distance apart. And let's bring uh, your right hand to the block right underneath of your face. So it's no longer under the shoulder, but comes in a little bit right underneath of the face. We're going to, let's see, straighten the left leg, little teeny bend in the right leg. Spine stays really long. So kind of pull your belly button to your spine here. And then um, think of lengthening your tailbone back, your crown of your head forward. Inhale, sweep the left arm up to the sky. So we're in a little twist. Breathing here. Now we don't want to lock out the, um, the left knee. So it's not, you know, perfectly straight. Maybe it's working towards straight. Maybe you need to keep a little bend there. That's fine. Hug the outer hips in. One more breath. Exhale, unwind. Other side. So a little teeny bend in this uh, left knee, and then right leg's working towards straight, maybe not perfectly straight. Left hand comes to the block on whatever height feels better in your body. So maybe you're up here and that's, that's fine. Listen to your body. This is your practice. Do what you need to do. Spine really nice and long. Exhale here. Inhale. Right arm comes up to the sky. Outer hips hugging in. Shoulder blades together on your back, relaxing away from your ears. One more breath here. Exhale, unwind. Gently move the blocks. Little bend in both knees. Forward fold, allow your spine to round over this time. Hold opposite elbows, maybe sway from side to side. So from here, let's step the left foot to the back of the mat, coming into this low lunge. So we want the ankle underneath of the knee outer hips hugging in. Take a moment here in this little lunge. Press the left thigh up to the sky, outer hips hugging in. Root down to the whole right foot. Spine long. One more breath. We're going to heel toe this left or right foot to the left. So it's in the middle of the mat. Spin the left heel down, lined up heel to arch. And then inhale up for warrior two. Tailbone lengthens down. This front hip lifts up and away from the th front thigh bone. Arms out to a T and then you can gaze out over the right fingertips. Two more breaths right here. The same long even breaths we had at the very beginning of our practice. Exhale here, inhale, reverse warrior. Coming back up through warrior two and exhale, elbow to knee, side angle. Flowing here two more times. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Knee stays bent over top of the front ankle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. 
Exhale, side angle. So right elbow to the right knee, left arm sweeps up by the ear. So from here, just like we talked about in Urbha Hastasana, your tricep is wrapping in, palm faces down towards the floor. Here, your tailbone lengthens down towards that back heel, that whole back leg spins in. Quadricep is engaged, outer right glute cheek wraps in, and then maybe from an opening through your chest, not just your head turning up, but you can look up under the left arm. One more breath. Look down towards the right big toe. Inhale back up to warrior two. Exhale, hands come down to frame the front foot. We're gonna step the left foot up to meet the right at the front of the mat, forward fold. One more breath here. We're gonna step the right foot back to the back of the mat. Feet are hips distance apart. Hug the outer hips in, reach back through the right heel, press the right quadriceps up towards the sky. So that back leg is really nice and straight. We're down through the whole left foot. Pausing here, two more breaths. One more. We're gonna heel toe our uh, left foot to the midline. Spin the right heel down. So we're lined up, heel to arch here. The whole back leg is spinning in. Inhale up, warrior two. Scoop the left glute cheek under. Left hip lifts up and away from the left thigh bone. You can gaze out over the left fingertips. Three breaths. Last breath here. Inhale here. Exhale, reverse warrior. Right hand to right leg. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Elbow to knee. Right arm sweeps up by the ear. Moving with your breath. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. One more time. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Left elbow to left knee. Right arm sweeps overhead. The bicep is by the ear. The whole arm kind of spins in, so the palm face is down towards the floor. Tricep wraps in towards the face. Tailbone lengthens towards the back heel. Maybe opening up through the rib cage, looking up under the top hand, or the top arm, excuse me. Exhale, look down towards the left foot. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, hands come down to frame the front foot. This time we're gonna step it back through plank. You can go right to down dog or flow through your chaturanga. Cobra or up dog, downward facing dog. Exhale here, inhale, right leg up and back, three legged dog. Just to hip height, like you were going to stand on the wall behind you, toes and knees point down towards the floor, so the legs neutral in the hip socket. Exhale, bring the knee towards the nose, and then step it forward to the inside of the right thigh. Feet or hips distance apart, a little bit in the back knee. Inhale, arms up. Urdhva has, or I'm sorry, high lunge, Anjani Asana. construction crew pulled up right outside my front door so sorry if you're hearing those truck noises one more breath here let's release the hands to the hips and then um, straighten the front leg and you're gonna spin the back heel down so you're in this wide um, wide Kind of stance if you need to walk the front foot back a little bit you can 
So let's inhale the arms out to a T and then internally rotate them. So you're giving the thumbs down, bringing the hands behind your back, either fingertips to touch, maybe giving yourself a little fist bump or finding that reverse namaste. Rooting down through your feet, lifting up through the quadriceps, tailbone lengthens down, hinge forward from the hips, reaching forward out of the crown of your head, back through your tailbone, collarbone broad. Root down through that right big toe as the hip crease kind of pulls back here. Root down through the pinky toe of the left foot, inner left thigh spins in. One more breath. Exhale here, inhale, coming back up to stand, releasing the arms, um, front knee bends, back heel pops up, back into Anjani Asana. Exhale, hands down to frame the front foot, step it back through plank, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Exhale here, inhale, left leg comes at the hip height, three-legged dog. Reaching back to the heel, leg stays neutral in the hip socket, arms, uh, weights even in both arms. Inhale here, exhale, curling the knee up towards the nose, pausing for a second, looking forward, stepping it forward the inside of the left thumb. A little bend in the back knee, feet hips distance apart, inhale, arms forward and up, high lunge, Anjani Asana. Tailbone lengthens down. Arms nice and strong and straight. Triceps wrap in. One more breath. Exhale, release the hands by the hips. You're gonna straighten through the right leg and then spin the left heel down. You might need to walk it in a little bit. I'm sorry, the right heel spins down. So feet are still hips distance apart, but that whole uh, right foot is rooted down, especially into the pinky toe, and then you can think of the inner thigh spinning in, outer hips hugging in. Inhale your arms out to a T, uh, internally rotate them, bring the hands behind your back. So maybe fingertips touch, maybe you're giving yourself that fist bump, maybe you're in this reverse namaste. Rooting down through your feet, lifting up through the quadriceps, hinging from the hips, forward fold. Root down to the left big toe, left hip crease, can sort of uh, be guided backwards, spine stays long. Sort of engage your belly just a little bit here. Two more breaths. Exhale here, inhale, coming back up through stand. Release your hands, the right heel lifts, arms come forward, high lunge, Anjani Asana. Exhale, hands come down to frame the front foot, let's step it back through plank, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, and downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Bottom of the exhale, look towards your hands. We're going to step the right foot forward to the inside of the right thumb. This time we're going to heel toe the right foot out to the right once. So our stance is wider than hips distance. Spin the left heel down. Um, and then inhale, arms forward and up. We're in uh, Virabhadrasana of one. Exhale, let's hinge our arms behind us and then interlace your hands behind your back. If that's not feeling right for you, you can leave them um, at shoulder distance apart, just behind your back or clasp the thumbs. So uh, wrap your triceps together on your back. Tailbone really lengthens down, standing up nice and tall. Shoulder blades kind of come together and then forward toward your ribs. Front knee stays bent right over top of that front heel. 
Inhale here and exhale, hinge forward from the hips, coming in to humble warrior, arms come up and over. One more breath. Exhale here, inhale, coming back up, gently releasing the arms, inhale, arms forward. Exhale, hands come down to frame the front foot. That left heel pops up, step it back through plank. You can go right to your down dog or flow through your chaturanga, cobra or up dog, downward facing dog. One more breath here. Bottom of your exhale, look towards your hands. Left foot steps forward to the inside of the left thumb. You're going to heel toe it once out to the left. So the stance is a little bit wider than hips distance. Spin the right heel down. Inhale, arms forward and up. Warrior one. So root down through the right pinky toe side of that foot. Spin the inner right thigh in. Left knee is right over top of the left heel. Tailbone lengthens down. Inhale here, exhale, releasing the hands behind our back. So again, they can stay right here by your hips. You can interlace the thumbs, maybe interlace the fingers. See if you can interlace them, the opposite thumb on top. Nice and tall, triceps wrap back, tailbone lengthens down, hinge forward from the hips, arms come up and over for Humble Warrior. Two more breaths. One more, exhale here, inhale, coming back up, gently releasing the hands, arms come forward and up. Exhale, hands frame the front foot. Right heel pops up, step it back through plank, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, downward facing dog. One more breath here. Bottom of your exhale, look towards your hands. You're gonna step the right foot forward, the inside of the right thumb. This time, we're gonna to heel toe the foot to the midline. Spin the left heel down. So we're lined up heel to arch. This knee's right over top of, sorry, your right knee's right over top of the right ankle. You're gonna place the right hand to a block on the pinky toe side of the right foot. Really hug the right glute cheek under. Think of wrapping it under and then inhale the right arm, left arm up to the sky. Tailbone lengthens back. You might need to widen your stance a little bit here. And you can be on whatever height of that block feels best for you. From here, we're gonna internally rotate the left arm. Again, like you're giving a thumbs down. And then wrap the hand behind your back. So maybe you're just bringing the palm to the, the like small of your back. Maybe you can link the hand under, I don't know if you can see it, kind of over the right thigh. The next option here would be to now take the right arm, bring it under the right leg and internally rotate it and clasp your fingers maybe behind that right glute. So the glute cheek wraps under, root down through the right big toe, inner right knee moves over to the right, and then you're opening up through your chest to maybe look up to the sky. So think of your right rib cage coming forward, your left rib cage going back. Stay rooted through the back big toe. Maybe you just are staying with that hand behind your back, that's an option too. One more breath. Release the arms, coming back into this side angle. Exhale, unwind, bring the left hand back down to the inside of the right foot. You can move the block out of the way, heel toe, the right foot back to the low lunge. Let's just step it back, downward facing dog. One more breath. Exhale. Look towards your hands. We're gonna step the left foot forward to the inside of the left thumb. From here, heel toe the foot over towards the right, so to the middle of the mat. You're gonna place this block on whatever height feels best in your body to the pinky toe side 
of the foot, placing your left hand down to the block. Now spin the right heel down, rooting down through the pinky toe of the foot, inner thigh spins in, and then put your brain in that left glute cheek. Think of wrapping it under as you open up through the right side body. Opening up to the right, left knees right over top of that heel. So you might need to widen your stance a little bit. Tailbone lengthens down towards that back heel. We're gonna internally rotate this right arm and bring it behind the back. So maybe it's just palm to the small of your back. Maybe you stay right here for a few breaths. Maybe you can link that hand to the left thigh. Maybe this left arm comes in front of the left leg, internally rotate it, and then fingertips can meet behind the left glute. Wherever you are, keep breathing. Maybe you can open up to the right a little bit more. Left rib cage comes forward, right goes back, gazing up over the right shoulder. Inhale, gently release the arms. Exhale, right hand comes down to the floor, right heel pops up. Move the block out to the side, step it back, downward facing dog. Bottom of the exhale, look towards your hands. You're gonna walk your feet forward to the front of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sitting all the way up, Ardha Hastasana. Exhale, releasing your hands to Dasana Mountain Pose. All right, so starting with your feet hips distance apart, um, let's just start with your hands to your hips. Root down to the left foot, left thigh, or outer uh, hip hugs in. Inhale, the right knee up to hip height, and you're gonna cross it up and over top of the left thigh. And then think of like internally rotating your legs here so your thigh is kind of hugging together. Maybe you can get that uh, foot around the calf. I can't, but maybe you can. Outer hips hugging in and hips sink back. Don't worry about it too much if that leg's not linking around the second time though. Focus a little more on um, the inner thighs rolling in towards each other, outer hips hugging in. Inhale the arms out to a T, left arm over top of right. You can give yourself a little hug here or cross the elbows, cross again at the wrist coming into eagle arms. Two more breaths here. One more. Exhale here, inhale, release everything at once. And exhale, lower it down, shake it out. All right, other side. Root down through that right foot. Spread your toes out, press down through all four corners of that foot. Outer hip hugs in, hands to your hips. Inhale, your uh, right knee, left knee up to hip height. Okay, you're gonna cross it up and over top up and over top of the right knee. So again, focusing on the internal action of those legs, squeezing your thighs together and then hips sink back. Again, kind of like a one-legged chair. Again, maybe the toes wrap behind the calf, maybe not, I'm a little closer on this side. You might find that you have a little bit, you can do it on one side and not the other, that's normal. Outer hips hug in, hips sink back, arms come out to a T. This time right arm over top of left. First option, give yourself a little hug or cross at the elbows, cross at the wrist. Hands come up right between your eyes, so they're not off to one side or the other. Spine is long, tailbone lengthens back. One more breath. Exhale here, inhale. Exhale, release, shake it out. Come back up to the top of your mat, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, arms come out and up. Exhale, forward fold, hinging from your hips, pausing here in this forward fold for a second. Maybe take it nice and wide. Heel toe your feet out to the uh, width of your mat. Press the opposite elbows for a moment.
Maybe walk your heels in slightly so your feet are slightly turned out and then exhale hips to come down to the floor. Now, if you have any sort of knee problems, stay up here with your hips above your knees. Otherwise, um, you can sit it all the way down to a Malasana squat. Shoulder blades coming together on your back. Reach down through your tailbone, out through the crown of your head so your spine stays long. So you root it through your feet, knees press into the elbows, elbows back into the knees. Two more breaths. One more. Then exhale, forward fold. And tail toe your feet back together. And then uh, bend your knees as much as you need to, plant your hands down and walk your feet back, downward facing dog. Tailbone lifts up. Your next exhale, you can gently bring your knees down. Knees as wide as your mat, big toes into touch, hips to heels, forehead to the mat. Three deep breaths here. One more breath. Exhale here, inhale, walking your hands in. Just sit to one side, extend the legs out in front of you. Make sure there's room behind you on your mat. So uh, extend the legs uh, out, hips distance apart, flex your feet, and then extend your arms forward in front of you. We're gonna lay down to the mat, but we're gonna take a nice, slow, kind of uh, like curl down, okay? So you're gonna scoop your tailbone under, belly button comes to spine. Just really slowly exhale and work your way down to the mat. As you get down, inhale, arms up overhead. Pause for a moment here. And then exhale, hug your knees into your chest. And gently rock from side to side. Keep your right knee hugged in, extend the left leg down the mat. Make a pada apanasana. Inhale here. Exhale, switch. Hug the left knee in, extend the right leg down. Exhale here, inhale both legs in. Bring your feet flat to the floor, heels underneath of the knees. We're gonna do a few bridge poses. So root down through the backs of your arms, shoulder blades come together on your back. You can just press your hands down, maybe holding onto the outer edges of your mat, feels good for you. Exhale here, inhale, scoop your hips up off the floor. So root down through your whole foot, heel behind your second toe, knees pointing over top of the second toe. So imagine you had a block or something between your knees. So you're finding a little bit of like an internal, um, like squeezing of the inner thighs, but uh, they're not touching here. It's just that muscular action of squeezing them together. Tailbone lengthens towards the back of your knees, but think of keeping space between your sacrum, your low back and your low ribs, and then walk your shoulder blades together, making space across your collarbone. So wrap your triceps back. So it's that um, external rotation we've talked about in our arms. One more breath and exhale, hips slowly lower down to the floor. We'll do uh, one more. Exhale, root down through the feet, inhale, hips lift up. Tailbone lengthens towards the back of your knees. Maybe this time you interlace your fingers, walk your shoulder blades together. Three breaths here, nice and strong. Spine stays long, open across the collarbone, but make sure that your chin has space between uh, it and its neck, and the neck or chest. So your throat is open. One more breath. Gently release the hands, walk the shoulder blades out, hips come down to the floor. Pausing here just for a minute. So we always have that urge, I have the urge, maybe other people do, to hug your knees into your chest, but let your back just kind of settle here after that back bend before you try and uh, send it the other way. 
So inhale, let's bring the knees right over top of the hips. Arms come out to a T and exhale, a little twist. Knees can fall over to the left. Two more breaths here. Inhaling your knees back up through center and exhale over to the right. Being aware of your space. Exhale here, inhale your knees back up through center, hug your knees into your chest, you can gently rock from side to side, massaging your low back, your sacrum, and then slowly make your way into Shavasana, final relaxation pose. So legs can just extend down the mat, allow them to just relax and be whatever way they want to be. Arms down by your side, palms face up. You can close your eyes or maybe just um, soften your gaze up towards the sky. Just allow your breath to be natural. Just allow your body to feel heavy on your mat. Just allow your mind to quiet and come to stillness. We'll stay here for a few moments. Gently begin to bring your awareness back into your body and back into your breath. And wiggle your fingers and toes, maybe roll out your ankles and wrists. Gently hug your knees into your chest. You can roll over to one side. Use your top hand to press yourself back up to a comfortable seated position. Taking your time, there's no rush. Exhale here, inhale, arms sweeping out and up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste. Thank you so much. Again, my name is Joella. I'm with UMBC Rec. And my yoga videos post the UMBC Rec Instagram and YouTube page on Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. <laughs>